that does it for your Friday, ladies and gentlemen. The stock market is now closed, closing at 1 p.m. And the Dow was up about half percent, NASDAQ down about half percent. The Dow is in a category of itself, but a lot of us are not Dow investors. A lot of us are NASDAQ investors, and especially with something like AMC, that's more along the lines of the NASDAQ. Now, AMC did better than some other stocks today only down 1.70 percent still in a very bullish technical uptrend just really waiting for that breakout and it's probably going to come in the form of a rally next week and that's my personal thoughts you do have a lot of data heading into next week we will touch on that here in this video but i really want to go over amc and the ortex data give you guys the broad picture of what is happening today so the biggest thing of the day and what a lot of people are focusing on, and that's probably why a lot of your Dow stocks are up today, is because the U.S. consumer seems to be healthy heading into Black Friday. And we are not going to get these actual numbers of Black Friday shopping and, and spending until probably a couple days from now. It'll probably be be a uh, sunday-ish saturday you're, you're going to hear some numbers but coming on sunday you're going to get a lot more numbers uh from actual businesses and where people spent their money so that is going to be a big focus as of right now the consensus is skewed very much to a positive consumer if the numbers come out and the consumer did not spend as much money this holiday shopping season that is going to be a negative thing for the markets now on the other hand, you are seeing oil and natural gas down a lot today, and a lot of people are saying that this is potentially due to the recession fears, because when there's a recession, oil plummets, commodities plummet. That's where you can experience and often do experience deflation during recessions if you take a look at the oil chart you will see and a lot of you guys probably all of you guys remember back in like 08 oil was very expensive it was the highest it had ever reached 140 dollars a gallon or a, a barrel roughly and then once the recession started it went all the way down to 44 dollars oil literally dropped in one day from $103 down to $44. That was like a 50% drop in the price of oil in the span of uh, literally, uh, actually like a month time. So when the recession comes, that is a... Uh, you know going to hurt oil and that was one of the leading indicators even during the covid crash was oil just plummeted in january of 2020 down to about 20 dollars a barrel and you know what what you're seeing right now a lot of people are are calling for uh is the recession fears that is that is causing the price of oil to come down so that is pretty interesting and I, I don't think it is wrong now on the front of amc you can see the cost of borrow rates for the day the live rates are sitting at about 50 percent 49.66 percent for a majority of the day only about 50,000 shares that were actually available to be lent out so not a huge number right there but the cost of borrow rates are looking really really good and hedge funds yeah they're starting to get squeezed if they have remained in their short positions while the cost of borrow rates have went up so so high cost of borrow average at 55.37 percent cost of borrow max at 64.17 percent and cost of borrow minimum at 31.62 percent so again looking at encouraging numbers as far as the option activity we have seen 10 orders totaling three hundred and ten thousand dollars positive order value of 42 percent just not a lot of option activity here today it's not surprising it's a day after thanksgiving a shorter day in the markets you're pretty much going to see this all around just a lack of uh, volume and activity but starting next week is where you're really going to get a lot of big data points that will move the markets in a massive massive way and if we take a look at that a lot of this actually starts on wednesday of next week when you will get the uh one second adp employment change for november gdp growth rate quarter over quarter and then you get the jolts job openings for october that data coming out wednesday at about 11 o'clock in the morning and then on thursday you're going to get personal spending month over month for october personal income month over month for october as well coming out at 8 30 in the morning ism manufacturing pmi for november coming out at uh, 10 o'clock in 
the morning. And then on Friday, you get the unemployment rate for November and the non-farm payrolls for November as well. We are expecting these numbers to come down. We're expecting the unemployment rate to come up. So obviously, if that you know does happen, that's going to be a bullish thing. If you see the unemployment rate continue to go down, not going to be so bullish. So you want to see weak economic data in this next upcoming week. And that will be a bullish thing for the markets, especially heading into Fed Jerome Powell. I believe he does speak at one point in this next upcoming week. If not, it's the week after that. It is before the two week blackout period uh, leading into the December 14th Fed rate hike and as of right now markets are firmly expecting a 50 basis point rate hike by about 75.8 percent probability and the probability of a 75 basis point rate hike sits at about 24.2 percent so that could be qu quite bullish if you know markets firmly start to price in that 50 basis point rate hike but i think a wide consensus view is that that's what we are going to get guys so not too much actually happened here in the markets today you want to watch the box office numbers see if we get an update for this weekend coming out probably on sunday that could also be a bullish thing for amc and still we're waiting on clarification from amazon how many films they want to push into movies and how often those are going to be how they're going to fully invest this one billion dollars are they going to create their own movie studio are they going to invest in previous studios work with theaters we kind of don't know where that billion dollars is going to go uh or or, or who would be uh benefited from that so that is it guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys want a brief look at the technicals it looks the same like quite literally not a lot happened today we're still above the 50-day moving average and you know to be quite honest with you guys we're looking for a big break above the 100 and the 200 day moving averages which i do think will happen in this next upcoming week volume though you know like i said it's very low we only had 8.1 million shares that traded hands on amc stock today even yesterday the stock was up 4.37 percent and we've seen about 37 and a half million for volume so it's a very low volume day in the markets and that's why we really didn't get a big move in either direction for a lot of different names in the market so that is it, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.